Hey, Shalom again. Thanks for coming back for another episode. Today I want to talk about um, the armor of Yahweh in the book of Ephesians. Ephesians Ephesians 6, it's going to be verses 10 through 20. Now there's spiritual forces, evil spiritual forces out there that nick and grab at us and they poke us all the time, you know, and we got to be on the guard. We got to we got to stay strong in the faith. We got to stay strong in the faith in Yeshua. And in order to do that, you know, the Apostle Paul here wrote something, wrote something down that's very encouraging, and it should it shouldn't be ignored. It should never be ignored. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit there and read the, these verses to you, just for just for uh, to help you guys out and strengthen you up. So let's give her a go. Okay, I'm gonna start out with finally. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the master and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Elohim that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. That's you got to be on the guard against the devil, spiritual being. He's a he's a former he's an archangel, former, you know, perfected angel of Yahweh, became twisted and perverted in his mind, cocky. With full of pride, we got to be on a guard against his uh, negative influence. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principal principalities, <clears throat> against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in the high places. So it's this world, spiritual wickedness, this this world, this present world. You know, I hate to say this, but the Satan, he is the, he's the ruler of this present world we live in. Look all around you. He's he's a, he's the ruler, you know, but he's going to be dethroned here real soon. And I, that's going to be, that's going to be, you know, we're going to shout for joy when that happens. Where forever take unto you the whole armor of Elohim that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all this, all, all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the good news of peace, not war, but peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. So these spiritual arrows and darts that'll be flung in us, we're going to be able to put up a proper defense, a proper righteous defense, and deflect them. And they won't hurt us. They won't hurt us. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of Elohim, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints, all of the saints. And for me that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the good news or the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, as I ought to speak. That's uh, his ver the Paul's verses, boldly stated, the right to the point, great advice, and um, we got to we got to stand we got to stand against uh, against uh, deceptive influence of the devil because he could actually he could actually even possibly deceive the elect you know the elect the saints he could he could stir up some problems and he does it he does it from within he finds weak spots and he, he gets the weak spot. And he'll, he'll play on that. And after that, you know, he just sit back and laugh because he'll let your human nature kick in on that. And then you got the world around you, of course, that doesn't help out or anything. They, they just throw salt on the wound. So you got to watch out for the devil and his uh, minions, demons. And um, it's, uh, it's, just, it's just a daily thing. You got to take things day by day. You got to keep strong in the faith, you know, fellowship, you got to read scripture, 
You have to you have to pray earnestly for strength and wisdom, guidance. Never waver, you know, and know that you know you got a loving father up there, and you got a big brother who gave his life for you. You know that means a lot. It does. I mean, it was no simple small thing that what transpired. You know, but uh, we gotta we gotta keep an eye on the we gotta keep an eye on our spiritual salvation because. We're not, we're not, we're not automatically saved. We're not, we're not saved, you know, where I can never, I can never sin again. I could, you know, I'm still going to go up to heaven. That's not happening. You could slip at any time. You could, you could go astray. You could be led astray by the devil or he, you know, he could use human agents to do it. Circumstances, places, chemicals, um, Food, bad food, too much food. Um, you know anything that entices the sense of senses of mankind, mainly, or you know, just uh, false doctrine. You know, blended in with the truth. You know, he, he don't want you to know the whole truth. He'll let you know a little bit of the truth, but the devil, he he sprinkles his little his little stuff in there, and he sits back and he smiles. You know, and points and says, hey, "There he is. There's look." Look, Yahweh, look, look. But we gotta have we gotta have that whole armor of God. We gotta we gotta have the whole armor of Yahweh. We gotta have it, you know. And that's great advice. We've got to stay strong and we need to be there with each other and, and pick each other up too. And we when we get knocked down, we need to be there for each other. You know, because it's not an individual effort, it's a collective, it's an assembly. An assembly, we gotta be with each other, we gotta be there for each other. Pray for each other. That's the, one of the biggest things to do. You pray, pray for your brothers and sisters in need and help. And, but you know, the devil at this present time, the, the devil's here. We gotta live with him, live with him around us at least, and and his minions and the deceived pe people around the world. You know, but just remember the armor, armor of Yahweh. Keep the armor of Yahweh. Keep it close to you, on you, and everything. You got a big brother. Big brother there looking out for you. So with that said and done, you know, just please comment, like, subscribe to my channel. Uh, get on the comments and look this scripture up and read it, you know, study it for yourself. With that said, thanks. Um, shalom till we meet again.